Good morning students, uh, my name is Dr. Arshna Verma, I am a HOD School of Sciences. Today I am going to discuss a new topic for you uh, with you about uh, something which is of interest for everybody, anybody which is interested in taking care, taking good care of their health. This is, uh, this topic is called probiotics. Now you must have heard a lot about probiotics these days because you keep on going to the market and seeing lots of products which are available and called probiotics. Uh, for example, Yakult. So, let us talk about what these are and how they are beneficial for us. Now, probiotics are micro, basically microorganisms which when consumed uh, prove, beneficial, prove uh, beneficial for our health because they improve the microbial flora of our gut. Gut means the intestinal area and microbial flora means the normal good bacteria which is residing inside our stomach and helping in digestion process. Uh, this term basically is a composite of two latin words pro which means for and bios which means life. So, basically probiotics are for life. Next slide please. Now, what are probiotics actually? Probiotics are basically bacterial or yeast cultures for example, lactobacillus or saccharomyces cerevisiae and they resemble the good bacteria residing inside our body. Now, there are lots of millions and trillions of bacteria living inside our uh, system which are both good for us and some of them are bad for us. Bad in the sense that they might be responsible for producing some diseases, but good in the sense that they help in the digestion process and absorption of nutrients from the food we take. So, probiotics are the uh, resemble the good bacteria which are living inside our system. Next slide. For a, for a bacterial or yeast culture uh, to be a good probiotic, it should have some features and these features are, it should be non-pathogenic, non-toxic, it should have the ability to adhere to the intestinal lining, then it should be uh, resistant to the gastric juices which are very strong acids. So, they should be resistant to uh, from breaking down uh, by the gastric juices and they should also be helpful in producing antibacterial substances so that they can be good for our immune system. Next slide. Uh, how probiotics work? Generally, probiotics work by boosting our immune system. Basically, they make our immune system more active. Active in the sense that they help the body in immediately producing antibodies against any external factor which is entering, which is invading our system. And they also prevent harmful bacteria from uh, attaching to the gut lining. And uh, once the bacteria is prevented from attaching, they basically are decreasing the uh, harmful toxic load. Which is, which is released by these bacteria and they also produce some probiotics also produce vitamins like vitamin B, vitamin K and uh, these vitamins help in maintaining good skin, uh, healthy functioning of the nervous system is important uh, in, uh, effect of these uh, probiotics and they also help in improving the digestion. Next slide. Uh, the most important therapeutic effect of uh, probiotic has been seen in case of acute uh, diarrhea. Now, uh, we have seen that uh, particularly in Indian system, uh, as soon as we get any kind of infection, the doctors prescribe antibiotics, especially in case uh, for kids. As soon as they get any bacterial infection, the doctors say give antibiotics to them. Now, antibiotics, they kill the harmful infectious bacteria uh, inside the, uh, inside our body. Now, in addition to killing the harmful bacteria, they will also kill the good bacteria. So, how do we balance that good bacteria now? Because if that good bacteria is not present, there will be an imbalance in the microflora of our stomach and the, um, and the people, especially the children, small children, they will start developing diarrhea. So, uh, to replace that good bacteria, the role of probiotics come into picture. These probiotics basically when taken in uh, uh, continuous uh, dose, they help in replacing that good bacteria and so they decrease the severity of diarrhea and the occurrence of it. Next slide please. In addition to that, uh, we are seeing many other benefits of probiotics. For example, they have been uh, helpful in decreasing the lactose intolerance by some people. They decrease the blood pressure by decreasing the amount of cholesterol depositing inside our arteries. Then they also generate vitamins like vitamin B12, vitamin K as said earlier and uh, we see many people uh, suffering from obesity uh, having uh, uh, probiotic Yakult, uh, probiotics like Yakult or probiotic yogurt in the morning because uh, they say that it, it is helping, in, helping them in maintaining the weight <coughs> and also they help in improving the immune system. 
Next slide please. In addition to that, uh, there are many other areas where the role of probiotics is being explored, but uh, uh, the uh, studies are still remain inconclusive and uh, controversial because more experiments are still required. Next slide. Uh, how long should we take probiotics? Now, probiotics are not some medicines that they will uh, uh, make our uh, disease condition disappear. They are just some uh, functional foods which help us in uh, which help in improving the condition at that particular time. So, as long as we want the benefits of probiotics, we should keep on taking them. Otherwise, the bacteria present inside the probiotics does not grow inside our system for a very long time. So, uh, um, as soon as we stop taking them, their benefits also go away. Next slide. Now, are uh, probiotics safe? Yes, they are safe generally for the people not suffering from any medical condition, but for elderly people uh, who are taking medications or for people uh, suffering from impaired immune functions, uh, there is a concern that they should not be taking any probiotics because uh, the probiotics might uh, hamper in the uh, in, uh, working of the medications they are taking or it might start interacting with the medications they are taking. So, uh, people with any medical history should consult their doctors before they start taking the probiotics. We should also keep in mind that pro, uh, probiotics are not regulated by FDA. FDA is Food and Drug Administration. They are just any uh, functional food which is available in the market and the manufacturers are producing them in large amounts. So, um, uh, these uh, the efficacy of the probiotics is still not uh, uh, very convincing and we should be uh, sometimes they are not as cost effective as uh, they should be. Next slide please. So, uh, the sheer number of products which are coming into the market or which are being thrown to us by the manufacturers in the form of yogurts, uh, chocolate bars, granola bars, um, uh, capsules and uh, other things, uh, uh, it is overwhelming for some consumers. And uh, in some respects, the industry is growing very fast and this is becoming a concern for the doctors and scientific community which want more research to be going, gone into this area before they can say whether the probiotics are good for us or whether they are a wastage of money. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, here we come to the, uh, here I have introduced pro probiotics to uh, you and in next class we are going to talk about genetically modified foods which are again becoming a very hot topic um, in the area, uh, in our area in the biotechnology stream and we are going to see how genetically modified food are beneficial for us. Thank you.